Hi everyone, welcome to Anthony's Hobby Corner again. Uh, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick uh, and easy and real realistic looking um, ground cover for your uh, model trains. Um, what, what typically people would use is they would put on something like your ground flock, uh, you know, material such as this that you would put on uh, on your uh, on your, on the layout. Um, and the issue with that is that it tends to be very one-dimensional. It just follows the contours of, of your of your ground. Whereas what I found to be very cheap and effective and very realistic is using uh, this method here, which I kind of discovered through some experimentation. So what I'm using here is polyester fill. And if you see some of my other videos, uh, I've also used the polyester fill to make... Um, uh, deciduous trees and so on and so forth um, so what I find this uh, what I like about polyester fill it creates a nice three-dimensional effect um, and it's it's different each time that you use it uh, and it creates a, some good good height uh, and variation on your layout when you make use it for ground uh, ground uh, ground cover so what I'm doing here is I took some polyester fill I kind of flatten no kind of pull it out a bit and flatten it out a bit so it's uh, rather than just clumped up and there's really no science to this you just you know flatten it out and I've, like I've done here um, and so I got two pieces here and the first thing I do here is put on some some hairspray I like put some hairspray on Okay. And next, I'm going to use this floral foam that I've used before, uh, and you see me use this technique before for trees. And I'll put some floral foam on here. Uh, and there's two types of floral foam that I have. I have the dark green one and the light green one. They both do the same job. So I'm just going to put some on here. Okay, and then what you do is, now that you got some floral foam on here, you can see it's got all different different dimensions to it, uh, rather than just putting some of this stuff on the layout itself directly. It gives, it gives the effect of shrubs and bushes that you actually created. So I'm going to put a little bit more um, hairspray on top here. And I put some of the, maybe the darker one this time. There you go. So you got a lot of, a lot of floral foam on here as a ground cover. And you can see it's very flexible. You can make it form any shape that you would like to on your layout. Put a little bit more hairspray on the top here. Some of it will kind of fly away, but that's okay. Now, next step is I'm going to put some green paints on here, just to give it a little bit, bit more color and definition. So I've got three colors. I've got the hunter green. I've got the spring green. And I've also got the... Um, meadow green as well just generic spray paints from your regular hardware store i'm just going to put a little bit of this on here And maybe I'll add some uh, some meadow green on here as well. As highlights.
as you can see, I'm just randomly spraying around. There's no real pattern to it per se, but. As you can see, it uh, turns out pretty decent. You got all different dimensions here. Um, it's just not just flat on the ground as you would just spread your uh, ground cover. Um, and again, it's very cheap. It's just using floral foam, some uh, some polyester fill, and uh, and and some paints. And you got yourself some nice uh, replication of shrubs and uh, and bushes. And you can see it's very flexible, so it, it just forms to any shape that you would like to put on your on your layout. Um, and you can actually uh, um, bend it all over the edges of a mountain as well. Uh, and it flows very well. Okay, so as you can see, I've got both these here now. I've put some additional color on here. What I've done is I've added a little bit more, some, some turf on top and some, um, some uh, lawn flock on here as well um, to give it some additional color and and stimulate and simulate some uh, some fresh growth uh, i'm going to do the same on this one as well as you can see uh, or at least typically in, in reality mature growth is darker in color and usually it's at the bottom of uh, layers of, of, of shrubs and uh, and bushes so it's always good to start with dark colors and then you put your lighter colors on top to simulate um, fresh growth and new growth okay so I'm gonna put some uh, some more uh, um, hairspray on here okay and then I'm gonna put some of this uh, some of this lawn flock on here turf and you can start to see this get more definition okay there you go let me just put a little bit more here, spray on top of it just to kind of seal it up a bit. And you have some flexible ground cover that looks very realistic. And I think it's much better than just putting on some turf or some lawn flock directly on on your surface it gives far better definition and it's very flexible so now let's take it over to the layout and see how it looks okay so here we are at the layout you have to kind of excuse the mess uh, it's a layout that's currently still in progress um, and I will shoot another video on the uh, layout itself um, but in any case here are the two pieces of ground cover that we just made a few minutes ago um, and I've just left, laid them on the track here but the intent was to use them uh, use uh, to create some ground cover so I can put put a piece over here because you can see it's bare here on this little mountain by the waterfall um, now as you can see we could have just sprinkled some turf or some flocking material on here but it wouldn't have the same effect as having uh, um, this type of a this type of ground cover that would give you much much more definition as opposed to just putting some turf on there so I got through these pieces. I'm gonna put one of them on here for a second and we'll just have to start to shape it up a bit as we put it on here. Actually, this one seems to fit 
pretty well over here. There we go. Something like that. And basically, we will have to um, shape it up a bit to kind of follow the contours of the mountain. Um, as you can see, it actually blends very well in that area. And I'll be putting more of these around the layout as well. Now, mind you, I will be creating some uh, um, more uh, ground cover that will go vertically here as well to kind of give the natural flow of foliage down down the mountain. I'm going to put some more ground cover here as well. So that's what it looks like on the layout. I think it looks much better than just putting some turf on there. And here's the second one that we worked on. And of course this can also go somewhere on the layout as well. Um, I haven't really figured out where I'm going to put these but uh, you know it will uh, go somewhere on the layout as well. Uh, and then I can you can cut it up uh, and to the shape that you need. Um, now I've used a very same technique um, on the backdrop here on the little on the little ridge that uh, that's uh, preceding the track as you can see here and I think it uh, gives a really nice authentic look to it and a realistic uh, look to it as well and what you're seeing here is the exact same technique that was you that's used in the demonstration there And this type of overflow that I'm showing here on this vertical area is what I'm going to be doing over here as well. Once I uh, put some glue and glue on the ground cover. Okay, so there you go. A very simple, cheap, realistic looking ground cover that you can just make in batches and then cut them up. And put them into the areas where you need to create some put some ground cover for your layout okay so I hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it useful if you have any thoughts and uh, ideas feedback please uh, put them in the comment section and, and I'll be glad to glad to review and respond thanks for watching